Live from your Central Texas News Leader, you're watching KXAN Austin News. Some incredible sights going on right now in Alabama. And we have a live uh, picture of uh, something you rarely see live on camera, and that is a violent tornado on the ground uh, near Gwynn, Alabama, is the name of the town uh, from which you are seeing this view. Uh, this is from station WBMA out of uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama's uh, bureau there. Uh, it's hard to see now. It looks like rain may be obscuring the view we had a few minutes ago of the tornado. And there we've lost the live feed. There you're seeing some damage from a tornado yesterday. This in Texas. Uh, the tornado last night hitting in Van Zant County, the little community up there of Edom. E-D-O-M. You probably never even heard of it. Uh, there was damage from there to the little town of Ben Wheeler, uh, Texas. This was rated an EF-1 uh, tornado, and I have some video of the actual tornado, believe it or not, that I'm going to show you on the 6 o'clock newscast uh, tonight. But we're still tracking this uh, tornado outbreak. By the way, uh, there were um, over 100 structures damaged, three destroyed in that Texas tornado last night. One of uh, 10, a dozen tornadoes in Texas. And now the count today, uh, it, just today, is up to about 57. As you can see, we're clear in Texas right now, but take a close up look at what's going on in the South. You're really witnessing some history here this afternoon. Uh, this is part of what it looks like will go down into the record books as the worst tornado outbreak in April history. Started day before yesterday, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas. Day two, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, the same places were hit again. And now day three, with more than 50, almost 60 tornadoes now, numerous tornadoes on the ground. They're just dropping out of the sky right and left in Alabama, into eastern Mississippi, and up into parts of Tennessee. But uh, again, some of these have been large. There was a half mile wide tornado headed right toward the Huntsville area. And these things are so dangerous because they're moving so quickly. Uh, 50 55 mile per hour forward movement of these tornadoes on the ground there in the deep south today. Well, let's talk about a, uh, a better story. It's a, it's a high fire danger, but uh, you know at least we can do something to prevent this from happening. Uh, tornadoes you can do nothing about. You just got to get out of the way or take your precautions. Red flag warning until 8 o'clock tonight because of the high wind today associated with that front that blew in this morning. A front that dropped us about 10 degrees. We're still above the average of 81, but highs today still made it into the mid to upper 80s. Uh, Cloud-free skies out there. It's 85 degrees in Austin right now around the area. A cooler out and burn it at 80, 82 in Georgetown, a low to mid 80s off to the east. 86, 85 in the city, 86 at the airport. Humidity very low, which is why the fire danger is high. Wind still 9 to 17 miles per hour. We've seen them gusting today over 30 miles per hour. Mold medium, pecan medium, low willow, and grass low. And around the state, 69 in Dallas, that feels good. 91 in Houston, that doesn't. The front's pushed off the coast now. Northwesterly winds uh, drying us out. There again, the ongoing tornado outbreak in Dixie. Uh, around here, we won't see much change in the weather. It'll be kind of cool in the morning and kind of nice. Then the warming trend will begin. So I guess that's a change. This is a change. 40s, 50s. You're going to love tomorrow morning when you wake up. It's going to be nice. Tomorrow afternoon, we're back up into the uh, mid-80s again. Tonight, clear. 55 in Austin. That'll be one of the warmer readings. 84 tomorrow, a lot of sunshine. It's going to be windy again on Friday, and we're back up into the upper 80s, maybe 90 degrees by Saturday. We'll have our next front in here on Sunday, and that will give us a chance for some showers or thunderstorms. And then we should have a couple of even cooler days early next week, Robert.